YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for another TCG battle video. Today we're gonna play with the first place winning deck list of the Philadelphia Regionals. Uh, Caleb Jetimer is the, the one that came out on top and uh, this is going to be Boswell Garboder with Shrines but then a 1-1 one, one line of Weevil as well. We are of course relying on Macargo Smooth Over. It's a crazy card, very very solid uh, because you can put one card from your deck immediately on top and with cards like Oronguru you can draw those out immediately or of course the four copies of Lily. So uh, that's why there's four copies of Lily. You can just put something on top and you can draw it out immediately with of course uh, he had the Lily smooth over Lily combo works out as well and uh, we also have one copy of unit energy besides the rainbow energies to of course uh, rely on the attack uh, evil abnormation to deal more damage depending on how many uh, abilities the opponent has and that is a one-shotting machine weave out definitely against things like Zoroark or Rayquaza that all have abilities in their deck and of course Trash Alanche is in the deck of course dealing more damage depending on how many items they've used so we punish the opponent uh, by playing item cards we punish the opponent if they play abilities and we punish the opponent by playing EX or GX cards in this case GX cards because uh, yeah Sun and Moon onwards you know it as well standard format so Shrine of Punishment deals damage uh, putting one damage between turns on every GX and we're not like, running any GX so that's fine we're also having Beast Energy so Baby Ball Oswald can pack quite the punch with Sledgehammer and of course we're gonna run Counter Energy, one copy of that, we can just put it on top immediately if we're behind in prize cards and with Counter Energy every Pokemon can attack in the list. Even uh, randomly a McCargo, you never know when you have one attachment on the Slugma for a particular reason to use Magma Ring and out of nowhere you're behind in prize cards, well you can even attack with the Combustion, not that you're ever gonna use that but it's just uh, saying that uh, counter energy works on everything. You can just attack with maybe uh, a swing around. Very, very solid if you're behind in prize cards. Or maybe just uh, that energy... Uh, yeah, cost for it, the evil abomination. So that is the list that we're gonna work with today. Not only can you draw uh, into your resources uh, with Lily and then smooth over ability, you also have three copies of Acrobat, so that works out as well. So that is the list that we're gonna play with today. As you see, uh, this is the first place winning deck list of the Philadelphia Regional. So it's a very solid list, proved itself already in a tournament with over 800 masters. So I'm just gonna find it here. Boswell Garboder with Weaver. I cannot promise you guys that we will win, but I'm definitely gonna try and showcase what the deck is capable of. This deck is very solid. You punish the opponent by playing everything, GX cards, abilities, item cards. So the opponent will have to be really careful uh, if they see a deck like this. And uh, we are facing a fairy deck. So that means, I don't know what the, this kind of deck is. We see fairy, we see fire, we see darkness. Maybe Zoroark with some cargo and Gardevoir. That is my best bet. I'm just gonna go first. Uh, the opponent says hello. We're gonna be very friendly. Gonna say hello back to him. And we have uh, a Brazilian Nazball's very solid opening hand because with Nazball you can get Oronguru. If Oronguru is prized, we will cry in the corner because that way we are dead drawing this deck. Sometimes dead draws because, of course, we don't run any Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is, of course, the, the master of consistency and look like, looks like this hand is garbage. So, we're just gonna play out our hand. We have Nas Ball. What do we need? The opponent will be playing stuff. We're gonna get out our, our own Guru first. We we'll draw some cards. We're gonna use... Also, we're just gonna check out. We're not gonna get out Garboder just yet. Weavile is also in here. One one line of that. We're gonna get out a little Slugma. Look what else might we possibly need. There is Beast Energy in here, so that is very fantastic to hear. But what is in the hand? We have a Garboder in the hand. Not that I can attack immediately, but you never know. And we have a Sneasel. So what are we also gonna get out? We're gonna have Nuzball going on. Do we get out of Weavile? He's gonna be playing Guard of War. So we have to think carefully here. Guard of War. Maybe he's just gonna put up some pressure with his Diancy Prism Star. Hopefully our boss will doesn't go down immediately and uh, Trash Lynch will come in soon. Or maybe we get out of Trubbish so we can evolve it so we can draw more cards with or... Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the case here. Just gonna get out a little Trubbish because that way the opponent will say, Oh, do I play my items? Yes or no? And uh, next turn we can just uh, empty our hand. We have Field Blow, we have Garbodor, so if we don't draw a supporter now... Yeah, that is going to be the case. Next turn, we just thin out the hand and it's going to be that. We have a Rainbow Energy onto the Garboder, Field Blow, something that the opponent will uh, get out. Maybe he's going to rely on the Skateboard. We've seen a uh, Guard of our list using a Skateboard because Ralt has a one retreat cost, so they can easily retreat into their uh, Lolan Vulpix. We see a uh, Lily first turn, so presumably he already has a Rare Candy Guard of War. That is going to be very terrible for us. Hopefully we draw into that Beast Energy, otherwise we will be in trouble. We should have checked if Counter Energy was in the deck. Uh, oh, any Porter. Uh, definitely gonna go on the Oranguru here. Oh, it's going on to the uh, Trubbish. Uh, I guess that's okay. Draining Kiss for 10 damage. Not the best damage output in the world, but you know how it goes sometimes. So, first things first, we have McCargo. That is fantastic. Next things, uh, we are just gonna evolve into the 
yeah, I'm just fine evolving to Garbodor. And uh, with this hand, I uh, definitely want my Beast's energy. So the thing we do here is use Smooth Over. We get that Beast energy on top and we draw it out, of course, with the uh, Instruct. So that is how the deck functions with Macargo and the Instruct ability. We're definitely gonna wa get one shot this uh, little uh, Ralt immediately, so let's get that. And the opponent already is playing item cards, so that's good. We have our backup with Garboder. We also can use Field Blower, but we're gonna wait for next turn. So, with Beast Energy, we can just use Sledgehammer, and that Ralt is already in the discard pile. The good news is that uh, with a Secret Spring and a Manual Attachment, he only is able to dish out... I think that's 120, so that, that Draining Kiss was actually very viable. Now he needs Rare Candy, Gardevoir, Secret Spring, and a DCE. Can he get that? The good news is we have an alternate attacker ready, Garbodor, and uh, maybe we're just gonna put on... Uh, maybe a draw supporter for next turn. So if he's gonna draw into a uh, Fairy Energy and a DCE, we will see the discard pile, so that is unfortunate. How many items in this discard pile? Two, so we're not gonna deal, dish out too much damage, but he doesn't have any backup. There's an Ultra Ball, maybe he's gonna get out a Horonguru. Oh, a bunch of item cards. What is the opponent doing? He knows we have a Garbodor. Does he definitely want Instruct to get that DCE, or does he just want to have some backup? Otherwise, he's going to get uh, slaughtered by, of course, Baby Boswell. Baby Boswell, oh, Infinite Force. We are still alive, so that is fantastic. Okay, now that the opponent has almost nothing in the hand, I just want to do something here. So, we can thin out the hand like this. Put another Trubbish here. Yeah, I'm just fine with that. Let's give it a Rainbow Energy onto that uh, Trash Lange Garboder. And because the opponent has a Pokemon in the hand, I am tempted to, to go for something here. We're just going to use Smooth Over. And uh, is there that one copy of Judge in here? We could also rely on Diane. Diane C Prism Star. That could work. Or just put uh, Kukui. Is our Judge in here? Okay, our Judge is in here. So that's fine. We have Garboder to sweep up later. So we're just going to draw out that Judge. So the opponent has four cards and hopefully he will not draw into a basic Pokemon. That is our best bet. Now he has to have Pulele in the hand. Now he doesn't. That is the way we're gonna win here because he only has one active Pokemon. We even have Shrine of Punishment and Diancy. What a perfect, a perfect judge here. We're just gonna smack down Diancy Prism Star. We're just gonna smack down the Shrine of Punishment and this deck will punish the opponent because he's a GX type. Bang, that's 110. And uh, also the Shrine of Punishment kicking in, that's 120. So we're two shotting this Guard of War with ease unless he destroys us. He already used way too many items, that's 5 items, 100 damage, we uh, definitely one shot this uh, Gardevoir and he judges us, so hopefully no basic Pokemon, so we dong this Gardevoir and we're done with it. Come on! We have a Buzzwall and a Rainbow Energy to work with, so that's cool I guess. Ah, Nazball, you gotta screw up my plan man! The good news is we have Smooth Over, that Shrine of Punishment is definitely a must and that's also an item, we don't even need Shrine of Punishment, that's 4, 5, 6 items. 6 items have been used, that means Garbodor can sweep up, that's 120 damage, here goes Garbodor. Here we have him, so Zoroark uh, with, uh, yeah whatever, don't even care what he's playing, so let's get this going on. We also, yeah, what, what do we need, we one shot this guy regardless, so we can just uh, revolve around this strategy, let's use the smooth over, we can use Acrobat to draw it into that immediately, what do we need? We already attached an energy here, so maybe Shrine of Punishment, or maybe an energy, or maybe Kuzma. It doesn't even matter what we get, we're just uh, way ahead in this game. Let's get the Shrine of Punishment. I don't want him uh, knocking out some stuff, so... Here comes the Shrine of Punishment. We get it immediately, as you can see, this deck draws itself thanks to Smooth Over, so let's get rid of that Devoured Field. And next turn, we can just grab ourselves. A fighting energy because we're gonna have uh, the opponent will have four prize cards remaining if he knocks out Trash Lanch and now we swing in to knock out uh, the Zoroark GX. So, Gardevoir going down immensely fast, so that was easy. We get counter energy, we get Lily. Who's next? So, Boswell is dealing an insane amount of damage if our Garbodor goes down. If our Garbodor doesn't go down, we're good. We even have things like Ultra Ball to get another baby buzz out, so that's cool. Guzma out. Yoron Guru, not that it matters too much because, of course, we can rely on Lily to draw some cards. First things first, we are gonna... How do we go around this? We need the switch or whatever. So first things first, I'm just gonna check in my deck if there is a switch card in there. I didn't check before. The switch card is in here, so that means we automatically win. We don't get out anything. We use the smooth over to put the switch on top. And with the switch on top, we can just use the switch, or actually draw that switch, thanks to the Lily, and that's that. So let 
let's just draw it out. We have the switch. Oh, how convenient. Switch, retreat, and that's that. So that is the champions winning deck of the Philadelphia Regionals. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this deck. We're definitely gonna play another round with this deck because it's very solid and as you can see we already won. It's only been 10 minutes so far in the video and uh, we got 100 coins for that. So very very fine. Almost closer to that booster pack of the uh, breakpoint. It's uh, uh, yeah, based on expanded here, this versus ladder, unfortunately, so no standard stuff because I'm a, most of the times a standard player, playing the standard format consta constantly on repeat, but sometimes expanded can happen, so a uh, versus ladder, I think, there's a weak standard, there's a weak expanded, de uh, depends. So, fairy, psychic, it's Gardevoir once again, Gardevoir keeps popping up, people are not liking dragon decks at all, so maybe if everybody is countering dragons, Maybe we should be playing the first place winning deck list at our next League Cup this Saturday, but I'm just doubting so much. Okay, we have Lily on the opening hand. We have a couple of balls. Well, we have Trubbish. So I'm just gonna get out all the good stuff immediately. I don't think he's gonna rely on the first turn Guzma. He definitely wants to draw some cards, but that could happen. So I'm just gonna wait to get that Trubbish into play. I think that's uh, good because this is not the best hand. We don't even have an energy. So we're gonna wait with that Trubbish. Sometimes we do see that early game Guzma plays if the opponent dead draws and there's an Acro bike. That's one item down. The good news is that he doesn't know that we're also playing, of course, Dark Boater. So that's kind of like uh, masking the fact that he can use item cards for just a little bit. So hopefully in the first turn he just uses a ton of items. Then we smack down Trubbish and we will be feel good about ourselves. Ultra Ball. What do we see? We do see that he's using a ton of items. There's already three items in the discard pile. Loving it so far. He's gonna probably get out Sylveon Jax to have that first turn energy evolution to go into Sylveon Jax. And Sylveon Jax is kind of good with that magical ribbon getting out the puzzle pieces immediately. Are we gonna see things like a skateboard that he's gonna retreat his rolls uh, in order to get, of course, his uh, first turn uh, magical ribbon off? We're gonna have to wait and see. Or he's just gonna manually retreat that rolls. It's looking very scary. If we top back a beast energy, it would be fantastic. That way that roll. Okay, Guzma plays as we predicted. So no Trubbish on the active position. All right. Let's just smack down this. There's already Shrine of Punishment. Let's smack down Choice Band. We can also... Do we give the Rainbow? I'm gonna wait with the Rainbow. I know it's bad. Uh, to... We can draw more cards, but drawing six cards immediately is already good. Okay, Diancy Prism Star, I welcome you. We're gonna use Nats Ball. Of course, we need a little Slugma. Slugma is the main key. Uh, Macargo is in here. There's a one one line of Weevil in here. What might be Price? The switch is in here. There's a what is Price here? I think there's a Guzma Price. Nope, it's in the hand. I was wrong. There's a Lily Price. Nope, we already used one. What might be Price? We even have Beast Energy is in here. I think a bunch of energies are Price. Okay, can live with that. Let's just get Slugma into into play. We're gonna use one Acrobike. Let's see what we get. We got a Lily and a Rainbow Energy. We already have a Lily in the hand, so let's discard that Lily. We have another Acrobatic. What do we get? We get a Beast Energy. Hello? Hello? <laughs> That's fantastic. We're just gonna get that Beast Energy equipped, and now we smack a Basilian damage again. 110 with the Shrine. 120. So even if he decides to uh, use Fairy Wind for some particular reason, we're not KO'd. And then we uh, two-shot Sylveon Jax, get two prize cards. Although Gardevoir is preparing himself. Copycat for five. Maybe we should have emptied out our hand, but the choice band needs to stick on the uh, Boswell for it to work. And there's the Field Blower. So that Beast Energy was fantastic. Luckily, we didn't attach that Rainbow Energy early game. You know how it goes. Okay, Shrine of Punishment going away. Not that we needed any more Magical Ribbon. Shows up. I am not afraid of uh, Sylveon at all. So in this situation, I do prefer attacking that little Rolf. Hopefully, we draw into something like a Switch or McCargo combos. That would be fantastic. Come on. Oh, I did, do think my Oranguru is priced now that I think about it. All right, we have Rainbow Energies for everybody. I think that's not good. Here comes the Rainbow Energy for you. Field Blower doesn't work. Guzma doesn't work, so Lily it is for one, or actually two, yeah, two cards. Yeah, we're just gonna knock out the Sylveon, that's the best possible solution. How many items in this discard pile? One, two, three, four, that's already 80 damage, so maybe another one of those Trubbish could work out fantastically. So here comes Sledgehammer, KO, KO. Actually, that's only 80 damage, so we didn't even need the choice back at all, because of course the Shrine of Punishment, here's our Oranguru, I knew it was in here. Okay. Next turn, we face a Gardevoir with Brazilian energies. How do we go about this? 
Well, the good thing is we have Shrine of Punishment. We get our Shrine of Punishment and keep smacking damage. I don't think he's gonna have things like Max Potion. Could work out for him. Wow, this Gardevoir is scary, man. That's five energies onto it. That's already 150 with one energy on, on us. That's 180. Oof, very, very scary. We don't even need, we have another attacker ready. We don't have another attacker ready. Do we promote Boswell and smack some damage? I think Boswell is the, the correct play here. I don't even know if we draw into Garboder. There's a Kukuri in here. Let's slap this down. We need another uh, Boswell smacked on the field immediately. So we have Choice Man as well to work with. We have Oranguru. Nope, nope. We can use Kukui here. Or he has a lot of cards in the hand. I think the best solution is using Judge. I'm not gonna bench the Oranguru here because I want to bench another Boswell because if he knocks us out, uh, our damage output slash hammer is insane. Oh, hello Garboder. Hello, hello. We don't even need to attack with our Boswell here because Garboder is gonna show him how it's done. Even if he knocks out Garboder, it's good. We can just smack in with the Boswell or maybe we should wait and uh, let's see how it turns out. How many items? One, two, three. Oh, looks like our internet is causing a little bit of problems. Come on, don't screw it up here. We attached the choice band, right? Where is the internet? Oh no! Ah, the network connection has been lost. So, oh man, but you already saw how it was going. We smacked damage with Boswell, baby Boswell. Or actually, we would have switched, used Trash Lunch first, and then uh, smacked damage with the Sledgehammer for Brazilian damage. So, as you see, the first place winning deck is very great. Uh, let me know what you think about this list. It's going very, very well, as you see. Uh, test it out for yourself. Maybe what would you change about the list? I think it's solid. We didn't even need Weevil in this situation, but Weevil is OP against Zoroark, Lycanroc, and Rayquaza. So, definitely take that into consideration. Anyhow, this was Zabdo's TCG here. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next Pokemon TCG video. I'm out. Peace.